we had the pleasure to introduce uh, NVIDIA's next generation of uh, Tegra processors, the processor for the mobile web. Um, and and the, the news, I think, was um, uh, there's a lot going on at the show, a lot of interest in the marketplace for a portable device that you can use anywhere to do things like br browse the web, watch movies, um, and, and uh, kind of keep in contact with social media. And so the device that, that uh, we started to show today is actually um, uh, a tablet device. So it, the difference with a tablet obviously being it's a you know, nice portable form factor. We have a couple of units here. Um, this one being built by a company called Compel. This is from a company called Integrated Computer or Convergent Devices. Innovative Converged Devices. Um, ICD is um, uh, uh, a design a design company that's actually been building these products for um, uh, for some carriers worldwide. Um, so our announcement of the Tegra processor is about bringing the next generation of capabilities to these devices. So one of the things that we wanted to be able to do is provide um, with, a, with a tablet, the nice thing about it is you know, touch interface, we want it to be nice and smooth, very dynamic for the user. And so let me just uh, show you one example, um, so if I can just bring up the gallery appl application here. Um, we have an example of, I've got a, a sorry, a directory with a, 180 pictures. You can see that it moves extremely quickly, smoothly. And you want to be able to browse through your content. And you can see that, uh, that we do this very, very quickly, smoothly, once my tab works for me. So extremely responsive device. And that's based on the new generation of Tegra processor. And so the new generation Tegra processor, we have, again, now a, the first, world's first dual core ARM-based processor. And so this is kind of like, you know, moving from, say, an Atom equivalent product now into a you know, core to dual like product with um, all, everything that comes with a dual core processor, uh, the, the additional capabilities, it's symmetric multi-processing, very efficient cache design that allows us to uh, actually handle um, a lot of processing extremely quickly. So if you want to serve up web pages, um, the, 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 the new generation processor can rip through web pages way, way faster than anything else you've seen uh, in a mobile process before. Um, you know, when, when I think of, uh, when I think of comparison, our first generation Tegra, you know, one of the best examples of that is the Zune HD product, which again, sorry, I'll just put it down. With the graphics technology that's built into here, so let me uh, go to my home screen. And so we can do a nice, you know, with the graphics technology that we've built into the first generation Tegra, and we're improving in the second generation Tegra, you know, I can do some you know, nice user interfaces. In this case, I'm going to play a HD movie that's 720p capable. So one of the nice things about our next generation Tegra, let me just put this down and go back to my, uh, my next generation Tegra tablet, is um, I can now play 1080p content. So this is a 1080p trailer. And again, please excuse the, the audio quality. Uh, but uh, yeah, so this is a uh, this is a 1080p content playing back smoothly, seamlessly, and all using less than half a watt. So if you want to do a great mobile product, you have to deliver great functionality. You have to use as little power as possible. So, you know, again, as a point of comparison, um, with this device, I can watch three movies on a single charge, and it's got a relatively small battery, right? This device as well will give a lot of video playback, right, with a single charge. And so you can be using it very actively for a long time. And that's one of the big things that I think is um, uh, people expect to be able to interact with their content, interact with the web, right? and you know, hopefully get the same kind of battery life that they're used to on their smartphone. Now when we're not using the device, again, I'll just uh, you know, put it into a, we're not, we're not using it, but you'll see it go to sleep, and then we'll wake it up instantaneously, just like you do with a smartphone. So again, um, uh, we think that, uh, that, that this device has been, uh, been a wonderful product, but there is a lot of demand 
from the marketplace for a larger screen version of this so that when I go to web pages I can see the full web page and I want to do something like work with Facebook I use the real Facebook page. So a Video Tegra, the, the processor for the mobile web, again 1080p we think is the, is the new standard. Uh, even sites like YouTube, uh, sorry, uh, YouTube have now moved to storing some of their content or serving up content 1080p. Um, we see a lot more digital, you know, serving up digital, um, uh, digital video. Uh, the real movies, again, served over 1080p. Um, one of the other things that we're showing, or that's uh, going on at the show, if you have a chance, um, Verizon has a, uh, uh, a meeting room set up over at the uh, at the Venetian, where there's a demonstration using uh, this Ultra tablet, uh, the ICD Ultra tablet, um, a Motorola 4G modem, and uh, again based on the Nvidia Tegra and a, a Verizon 4G network. And so with the 4G network, it gives you a lot of bandwidth over wide area network to be able to play 1080p movies. So they're actually streaming 1080p movies over the airwaves in a uh, demonstration of what uh, you know what, what this technology is capable of. Uh, other things we're showing, uh, again on our booth, there is a, a new product announcement that um, I, I guess is one of the finalists for Best of CES. Uh, and that's the Boxy Box by D-Link, and it's a Tegra powered device that's intended to, again, add internet functionality and uh, video from the internet that plays onto a TV screen. Right, so again, these devices will typically have an HDMI output that you can plug this directly into, you know, a big screen TV. Now the Boxy Box, very nice, stylish, uh, stylish device based on the new Tegra processor. Um, uh, again, uses that HDMI output for a TV, but they don't need the screen built in, they don't need a battery built in, so their you know, cost to build this and I think deliver it into the marketplace will be very, very wonderful. But uh, essentially it adds a great internet experience to any HDTV. There's hundreds of millions of you know, HDTVs already installed uh, and more, you know, more and more being sold every day. So we think that um, you know, this type of device will also be a very interesting opportunity for Tegra to uh, again, add that nice uh, internet functionality to those devices. Um, the, uh, the other announcement, and I don't know if you saw it as uh, part of our, our conference today, is that uh, Audi is using uh, NVIDIA graphics technology as part of their navigation systems, and uh, they're working with us to bring uh, the Tegra-based navigation system uh, into uh, not just the Audi line, but the full, uh, Audi is a subsidiary of Volkswagen, we understand that it will be you know, uh, used throughout the lineup, throughout the whole lineup, eventually. So we're really excited about um, you know the, the kinds of capabilities that uh, the Tegra is going to bring to the marketplace. Um, you know, the, the different use cases that we can cover, everything from smartphone type product, uh, personal media player, the new generation of tablets, uh, smartbook products. Again, we've got some of those on display. So you know these types of devices with a keyboard. Um, um, you know, use in TVs, use in automotive, and we think there's a whole range of embedded applications that uh, uh, Tegra 2 is going to, or sorry, a next generation of Tegra is going to uh, uh, satisfy. Uh, to build that ecosystem, one of the things that we're working on, or one of the things that we've done is we've built a reference board that's uh, about five, five inches square, so not a great big board like some of uh, some of our previous products, but a you know, fairly small device with all of the connectors, all of the IOs of the Tegra processor um, enabled so that our partners can basically prototype some of their systems using this board. Um, it's not just for our hardware partners, but also for software partners, software developers around the world can use this device to test their software, see how it runs, get it perfected to run on a Tegra processor. So when it rolls out, when they want to take that software and run it on a device like this Ultra, or this Compal tablet, or the Asus tablet, or you know, a variety of other tablets that we uh, showed today, um, that it will just work. It's already been tested on Tegra, and so you know it's a it's a thing where we're uh, going to make these developer platforms available to our hardware vendors and to our software vendors to uh, to, uh, to really open up the marketplace to enable a lot of innovation. 
of, uh, there's a lot of neat new ideas of how Tegra can be used. So we want to make it easy for uh, developers to, uh, to expose those ideas. Um, and then the, uh, I think the, the other, um, uh, uh, let's see, what was the other thing in the conference? Oh, one, so one other thing that uh, the people are interested, um, again, because NVIDIA is involved in this, uh, in this, uh, this product, Everybody comes to us and says, you know, this is a really great device. What games can I play? So one of the demonstrations that we had, and unfortunately I don't have it loaded on the system, but um, we had uh, we had on stage with us uh, Tim Sweeney and Mark Rains from uh, uh, from Unreal, and um, and and they are they showed a demonstration of the Unreal Engine running on the Tegra processor, the full screen running on a big screen, guy running through, you know, firing guns, whatever. It was amazing. Just amazing to see this gaming experience driven by this extremely low power processor. Um, you know, so when you think of a gaming anywhere experience, this type of device, being able to run that type of game, I think is uh, really gonna open up some really uh, exciting new products. So, uh, again, the Tegra 2, or sorry, our next generation Tegra, um, Announced for the first time and on demonstration, public demonstration for the first time today, uh, enabling a broad new set of web, uh, entertainment, and uh, uh, gaming applications. And again, in the auto case, navigation applications, uh, so that you can use. You know,